what's up it's kit time for another video and today we will be looking at something that's largely believe it or not these days kind of overlooked i know that especially here in in the middle east there are a lot of people that wouldn't really care much for recycling hooks and basically what happens is that when they find that the hook is damaged or they see that there's something wrong with the hook like take for example they touch the the tips and they say like okay this this is not sharp anymore they just chuck them out and replace them with new ones and that's all in good however there are some times when like in for instance right now i checked this lure out and i said like hey look um hooks are still pretty good it snagged i remember snagging this probably my second to my last use for this which was about a year and a half ago trolling off of the kayak and i snagged it and when i checked because i have a lot of lures what happened was that when i checked it and the hooks weren't good i said, told myself like hey you know what i'm just gonna put this aside and it was in the middle of the season and hey okay i didn't want to deal with it but now after rummaging through the lures that i wanted to use i saw that okay this one i need to change the hooks to heavier gauge but also at the same time the hooks that it has although they're a bit dull because of the snag perfectly usable and because they're black hooks i thought hey hey you know what i could still use them for a kingfish ring so the damage that was caused was basically the lure hitting a rock or a stump or something most likely a rock and the hooks are kind of a bit dull so they're still perfectly good hooks only that obviously there's a problem with the point now what i want to do is actually sharpen them okay there are a lot of people here that when they see that their hooks are kind of dull and everything they just change them and that's great however there are some hooks that are actually perfectly usable so i'm gonna show you how to sharpen hooks today okay now you might think that what i'm about to show you like right now like take for example this one i i've had this for a long time this is a diamond file and here's another one and it's also a diamond file and i carry both of these around in my tackle box because when i'm fishing especially when i'm fishing now here's an example of a jigging a jigging hook that actually took the the assist cord on off of but i've used this before now I took took this off because it's a very good example. What it is, is that it snagged once, okay? And it's not as sharp as it used to be. In fact, if I run my fingers or my, my thumb through the point right there, I can feel that there's a burr. So the metal is bent. Now, I'm not going to chuck this because it's still a perfectly usable hook. Now... Single hooks are... Pretty much very straightforward to uh, to sharpen. All you have to do is just run the file like so, okay? And first, you take off the burr like so. And the hook, actually, if you look closely, you'll see that there, there are flat sides. And all you have to do is just follow that. If it's a conical point, then it's even easier because all you have to do is just basically just go around like that. Okay. And check to see if it's sharp by just... If, if the hook point actually manages to catch your skin... It's sharp enough, but you can still really fine tune that. And I'll show you in a second. Z 
this is out of habit. A lot of people actually don't do this. But I've learned that sometimes you need to do it or actually inspect all, all the stuff that you're going to be fishing with, including the hook points. Because sometimes when you're fishing, you're fishing for one strike, especially back home in the Philippines where the strikes are actually very few and far in between. You want everything to be in tip-top condition, most especially your hook points. Because you don't want to lose the fish just because you can't hook it because your hook point is actually pretty dull. Now, you push it, and when you pull it, there's a slight resistance that's sharp enough. Okay, I mean, most often I actually just take the, the file, and you could use any file. Both of these are diamond, diamond files, and uh, there are a lot of places where you could buy them, and they're not expensive. So just file until it's quite sharp and the last thing I do is actually very very little pressure to give it that really really sharp tip I don't want to change the profile Although some people actually go to great lengths to change the profile, and I've done so in the past. And yeah, it works great. But the hook points by default, they're already really good from the manufacturer. Unless you know what you're doing, all you, all you want to do is actually just make that really, make the tip really sharp so that when you stick it, your nail like that with very little pressure it grabs and when you pull back there's a slight bit of resistance and that's it now treble hooks are kind of very time consuming because they have three points but what i do is with a with a file or with a sharpening stone i go two and go like that and then turn and do the same and what it does is give a uniform sharpening in each of those points just a few times make sure that it's the tip that you are sharpening and not the shank and you'll see that each side is actually filed down and then what you do is take your file and then for each point you go like this from the top just a little bit you don't want to take too much metal off of the hooks all you want is actually to give them that there we go. So compared to what it was before when it wasn't catching at all, this method gives your hooks a really good point. And you'll end up hooking a lot of fish. Since this is a diamond file, it's very easy and uh, it takes a, quite a bit of metal each time you do that. So you don't, you don't really need to, to do it a lot. All you have to do then is file the tops like so. And you will see that these guys are super, super sharp. That's it. A very, very quick tip. and. This is something that re could really change your hookup ratio because I know a lot of people that really don't care about the hooks and sometimes even when it snags, right after it snags, it, they don't really inspect their hooks and then just cast straight out. So guys, make a habit of actually taking at least a, a file, any type of file. Uh, a diamond file is actually kind of smaller. You don't need to wet it very maintenance free and it lasts a long time so if you have that 
just before you drop your your lure or jigs or whatever you're using just make a habit of actually inspecting the hooks to see if it's sharp or not and if it's not all you have to do is just take the file run it a few times if you're trolling you can even hold the hook just like that okay just uh you know taking the holding the the treble and then just sharpening them a little bit just to give them that edge and you know what this is something small that you could do it doesn't take three minutes this is but this is something that you could do to make your hookup ratio go up just because you're fishing with sharp hooks all the time so Yep, short and sweet for now. Thanks so much for joining. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.